Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Full Out 4. My name's Camel, and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the rifle known as Reba 2. Just a warning, come prepared to find plenty and plenty of myologues. To acquire Reba 2, we need to come to the Rook family house in the zone Coastal Commonwealth. On the Pip-Boy map, Diamond City's all the way down here, and the Rook family house is all the way to the northeast, almost at the top of the map. Getting in much closer, we can see on the map the Rook family house is on the point of this cape. When we arrive here, we will find Barney Rook fighting off some Myalurks, so we must kill all three Myalurks outside his house. Once the three Myalurks have been killed, if we walk up to the front of the Rook family house, Barney Rook will open the side gate to his house and he will ask us to meet him in his basement. Once down here, we will be introduced to Reba, his rifle, and of course, Barney Rook himself. Barney will ask us to activate all five turrets he has placed around the town. As we can see on the map here, they're all close by. Once again, be very prepared to fight plenty and plenty of Myologues. Once all five turrets have been reactivated around the town, we will get a quest prompt to report back to Barney. Once we return, he will thank us very much for reactivating the five turrets around the town, and he will also reward us with the key to the workshop. He also tells us that Reaper 2 is sitting on the table inside his workshop. Reading between the lines, he's telling us to take it. So once we get the key, head to the blue door at the back of his basement, and we will enter his workshop and sure enough, on the table slash drawers at the back of the room, Reba 2 is sitting there, ripe for the taking. Before we look at the stats, I'd just like to clarify, I have reduced all of my character stats to 1, and I have no perk effects applied. With both no perks and minimal stats on my character, all of the weapon stats that we will be looking at on Reba 2 will be Reba 2's base stats, meaning the lowest possible stats. And across all of my Fallout 4 unique weapon guides, I do show the base stats, so you can compare the stats of all the weapons I show in my video on a level playing field to help you decide which weapons are actually the best. So if we look in the bottom left, we can see that Reba 2 has a base ballistic damage of 55. It uses the 308 round. It has a fire rate of 3, a range of 215, an accuracy of 92, a weight of 13.5 pounds, and a value of 290. Down in the bottom right, we can see the current mods. Reba 2 comes with these mods applied. The calibrated powerful receiver, the long light barrel, the full stock, the Quick Eject Mag, the Short Night Vision Scope, and No Muzzle. And middle top, we can see Reba 2 does 50% more damage against Myalokes and Bugs. So it's super effective against Assassin's Creed games. Reba 2 is a must-have gun for wandering around the more wild areas of Fallout 4's Boston, as you will be running into plenty of Myalokes and plenty of Bugs. But don't let the effect fool you, it is still incredibly powerful and effective against humanoids. And Reba 2 is an absolute must have for any sniper class character. With its almost perfect accuracy and its night vision scope, if you stick to the shadows with Reba 2, you will be able to end a firefight before it starts, taking your enemies by surprise and from behind. And now that we have this head remover, here's the Reba 2 in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that this video helped you in some way in acquiring the must-have rifle, Reba 2. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course, this will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you want to watch freely. You can also check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.